you, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith and welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. And this match is Spain against Portugal. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve, Alan, you had the honour of playing for England and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment when you pull on your nation shirt, always a big game, this is no different. Well, Alan, you and I have been very lucky to work in this football cathedral, the stadium that is the Santiago Bernabeu. Special place, Martin, isn't it? Every time you stand down on the touchline, look up at those steep stands, it's a wonderful sight. This is the team news for Spain today. David De Gea starts in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Pique in central defence. David Silva plays with Vitolo on the flanks. Diego Costa is the lone striker today. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, they don't do it individually, they get backed up by a teammate, they hunt in packs, and you've got to do that, you've got to do it with discipline. Portugal, with uh, a wonderful football history, of course, they did win the Euros in 2016, we've talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup. They actually finished third, had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football. And if Ronaldo's... Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Bernardo Silva! Well, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. Well, uh, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. He might be through. In behind is Ronaldo. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Advantage rule. Sergio Busquets on the attack here. And it's in! That is one of those special moments you don't often see. A glorious goal. Got a bit of help from the inside of the post, but in it goes. Well, that can be truly described as unstoppable when it goes in off the inside like that. And here is another angle on that goal. Silver. Portugal attacking now. Aiming for the dangerous head of Ronaldo. Corner for Portugal in pursuit of this equalizer. Now Adrian Silva. 
Karesma. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did shoot. Okay. Diego Costa. Gets his foot in there. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Crowd settling back down here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Diego Costa. Getting forward well as a team now. And shoots! Got in the one. Saw the goal and went for it. Attack this by Spain. And it's with Vitolo. Coco. Diego Costa! Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that. You want to have another look at that one, Alan, I guess. Well, you've got to admire that, that is wonderful. In this attack. Did well, stuck out a foot, cut off the pass. The shot's on! Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that will be a goal kick. To them. Yeah, they've been brilliant, but it's been a close game, and you wouldn't put it past the visitors to, to nick a goal back. There's some potential in this move. Here's the shot from distance. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's very little. On to Ronaldo. Incisive pass. Just the keeper to beat. It's brilliant goalkeeping. The save itself, but the timing of it. A bit takes charge here from the corner. That's it, final whistle. Goal scorers, as you well know, get lots of attention. Let's give the defenders some praise today. Oh, most definitely. And the back four will get credit, but you do defend as a team. And I think the, the midfielders, the way that they, they protected in front of that back four was, uh, was vital. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. Cristiano Ronaldo was a frustrating game for him. He really couldn't get into it and make the sort of impact he was hoping for. That's a big part of why they lost today, I think.